Good afternoon, and thank you to let us present our cloud computing strategy for Spanish public administration. Uh, this is the, the contents of the presentation, and going through legal issues, I want to stress that we, have, we are lucky because we have a law, the uh, e-government law, that uh, have uh, promotes cloud systems and application. Uh, this law create, create uh, a private inter-administrative network, and this network uh, has a name, and in Spanish is SARA, is from Services, Application, and Network for Public Administration. Uh, I want to stress that the legal system uh, uh, allow this, this network to provide services and application in a cloud way and for all public administration. This helps us to, to deploy uh, cloud services in legal basis. We have a hierarchical uh, legal system. Uh, the law on e-government has also two royal decrees. Two royal decrees, one of them uh, is for all the Spanish interoperability framework. And this is quite useful because allow us uh, to interconnect all our system and uh, application among also a quite complicated um, state model with communities autonomous like states, central government, and also a, a lot of municipalities. I want to, to, to stress that this is a good starting team point to deploy cloud services because the interoperability is already uh, by law. As I told you before, uh, the law has two royal decrees, one with interoperability and guidelines in interoperability, the other one in security aspect of cloud computing. Uh, this royal decree uh, has uh, the regulation in the national security framework and uh, set a different system categories and a different possibilities to use cloud in the different categories of data of the citizen that store the, the system. It also underlines uh, other security aspect more or less is commented before, but I, I want to, to stress that uh, cloud is an opportunity to security. It's a clear opportunity to security. It's much more secure, a good cloud system, than a small data center in a small public administration or even an isolated server with no backup, with no uh, recovery uh, programs or something like that. So uh, we almost always focus in the problem of security. We already had that problem with hosting and housing, and it seems nobody uh, are annoying with that. But we had to see all the, all the advantage that cloud can provide to security. It's not only that uh, cloud providers are more secure than an isolated server in a SME, for example. Uh, storage all the data in the in the company. It's also because we are focused. We will see later in high level in, in high, high value services, mostly application, and it's more secure. Has one controlled application than several of them in each part, with a lot of problem with security. So let's let's always think that cloud could be a big opportunity to security, not only a problem. It's important the link with private sector. It's fundamental. Not only uh, in the way that you have to promote SMEs and market, also because you need the private sector to set the cloud for public administration. This is one of the numbers about cloud computing in Spain in private sector is more or less the same as we comment before, big impact in the GDP, big impact in the employment, and it's more or less as we see in other, in other presentation. Related to private sector opinion is more or less 
the same good things and the same bad things as in the public sector. This is not much different. We see more difference in the adoption by Spanish private sector of cloud and the Spanish public sector of cloud. It's, it's more common in the private sector than in public one. So what, what are we doing? What, what is our political strategy? It's, it's absolutely necessary. We can see in Europe with European Cloud Partnership and this kind of project like Cloud for Europe, and it's also needed in the, in the national countries. Our political strategy with the Agenda Digital para España is the same for digital ag agenda in Europe, but for on, or our country. Uh, has strategies to improve the administration services by cloud. And it declares uh, Red Sara, the network we've seen before, as the private cloud for the public administration in Spain. It also has uh, strategies to promote digital economy, especially in SMEs and e-commerce business. There is a whole program in, in, this, in this field to promote uh, cloud in SMEs, and it will start uh, earlier this year. In the public field, uh, one key aspect is the collaboration among um, public administration. Uh, I think, because we talked uh, before, uh, that almost all of us in Europe have a problem with decentralization. We have a country with uh, 17 autonomous regions with a lot of power, they can make laws. We have more than 8,000 cities and villages, and it's a, it's a country with a lot of public administration, many of them are small ones. Uh, the good thing is the law, the law 11, provides common criteria provides ICT common infrastructure for the public administration and uh, a solid collaboration between public administration with formal and informal groups and meetings in ICT. Uh, this collaboration uh, with autonomous regions and municipalities uh, to provide cloud services is, is absolutely essential. And I want to, 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 to focus uh, in cloud technology in a small public administration or cloud technology in a small and medium enterprise. It's the same problem. Uh, a small village is absolutely enabled, uh, it's impossible to provide the same services to its citizens like a big capital. I will love that a small village in, in Germany could have this nice project that has Berlin, but it's impossible if, it's, if not made by cloud. One small village cannot have a big uh, data center, cannot have uh, people to keep the system, to the, develop new application, and that kind of thing. So the only way uh, to bridge digital divide between big and uh, small public administration is to provide application as a service, not uh, infrastructure as a service as we have been talking uh, almost uh, in many seasons. Uh, you need application, you have high level, uh, high value application as a service because the, the civil servant in a small village just has to connect to its computer, to the net, and deliver uh, the same services to its citizens like in the, in the big and the important cities. And this is only possible with cloud. That's why through SARA, uh, we uh, develop not only e-government services that uh, were already provided, when I mean services, is services for public administration, system to system, machine to machine, and is quite common. We made a catalog of application as a service to be codified, to deliver just the high value to the public administration, the whole uh, application. 
uh, we share services in a centralized way to other administration. Red Sara is more or less independent of a central government. It's in the ministry, of course, but it has its own uh, rules. And uh, we provide cloud services uh, from Red Sara. One is, this is a little bit, is, has to problem, is a little bit technical and is in Spanish, but I will try to, to explain. What uh, um, is, is to explain uh, why we had to succeed in, in, in deploy massive uh, new application to public administration. Uh, we have three axes, three different axes. One of them for the e-identity. We manage e-identity of the people and civil servant. And one people is one people and have one I identity. In a different axis, we have the entity, the public administration, or the or the part of the big public administration, like a deputy director or something like that. And we have the application. But the application doesn't have information about entity or identity. What lets us this scheme? We can deploy an uh, application to anything, e-invoicing, in all one region in Spain. And this is a cloud service, so the own um, civil servant uh, manage the identity, manage the role in the application, and the way they interact with them. That is why uh, we can deploy massive uh, application in, in Spain. So as, as I told you, uh, we are working in an application as a service catalog uh, in that basis. We have a lot of applications, as you can see, most of them are uh, applications for public administration of high value, like human resource manager, and, and so on. And all of them and are made in an open software uh, are, made, are, made, are based in open standard, all of them, and with open and public interfaces. So a private sector can interact with the central brokers, the central uh, interoperability system. These closed services as in, are implemented uh, we have a paper use model to public administration is is other of the of the things that we develop with the new no, new approach. Uh, the services are not compulsory for now. We are in the middle of our forum the public administration, so maybe some of them are mandatory and it seems like invoicing central system will be mandatory, but maybe more of them. We are working on infrastructure as a service. We already provide infrastructure as a service, but only for central government. We find some uh, technological problem to provide infrastructure as a service to uh, autonomous region and municipality. And let me end with with some of the samples of success of this, this scheme uh, of cloud service application. Uh, let me start with the, the last one. Uh, the last one is Sistema de Intercambio de Registros. It's the acronym for Registry uh, Interchange uh, System. It's a law, uh, it's, a, it's a broker, it's a central broker, a big system that interconnects all the public registries in the public administration. So it connects all the offices, uh, maybe in a municipality or in a ministry or a, a public company or whatever, and interconnects all of them. But it's only the broker. The, the history says that the project uh, doesn't, uh, didn't, uh, has a lot of success because each uh, public administration should connect its registry system to the broker. 
what we made is Orbe. Orbe is a whole high value uh, registry application on cloud. So we deploy cloud in a, in a fair, um, um, in a first try in a whole autonomous region and deploy in all public administration. Uh, central government, autonomous region government with all its offices and all the municipalities. Uh, the first uh, one we choose was Madrid. And um, Madrid uh, city was too big that they uh, just interconnect uh, directly with the broker system. But the other uh, public administration uh, only use the uh, application as a service. This was a success. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, registry are interchanging right now. We will see the numbers right now. This made us a critical mass. So right now, other autonomous regions are joining the system. And one thing that I really like it is Orbe is our application to give that uh, service in order to provide that uh, a citizen in a remote island, in Canary Island, has the same advantage to uh, give the registry of the document to a central ministry, the people who live in Madrid. But uh, this is absolutely open, as I told you before. So several companies, including one SME, already has system that interconnect directly with the central broker. So this is a success also for the market. This is the numbers in Madrid, well, in the system. We just joined Canarias. This is real numbers from a couple of weeks ago. And when the all public administration are joining the system, the estimating savings are over 50 million euros because there is a lot of paper that right now goes through this net. So I think it's quite, quite important uh, think the cloud like a solution, a solution for public administration and a solution for many of the problem that right now, especially uh, a small public administration has. Thank you very much.